hybridization of atomic orbitals. So let's start with the definition of hybridization. Hybridization is the mixing of atomic orbitals to form hybrid orbitals. So let's look at the example of carbon. So the first stage is excitation. And that's when a 2s electron is promoted to a 2p orbital. So here we have the ground state electron configuration of carbon 2s2, 2p2. And during the excitation stage, an electron from the 2s orbital is promoted to a 2p orbital. So here we have the excited state of carbon. As you can see, we have a 2s and three 2p orbitals, each with one electron. As you know, carbon is able to form four identical covalent bonds in methane. Well, according to the excited state, if it were to form four bonds, they would not be identical because these 2p orbitals are of higher energy than the 2s orbital. So to account for those four identical bonds in methane, we have hybridization of atomic orbitals. And it's when the atomic orbitals mix to form four hybrid orbitals of equal energy. So here we have four hybrid orbitals, and this explains why carbon is able to form four identical covalent bonds in methane. SP hybridization. SP hybridization involves one 2s and one 2p orbital mixing to form two sp hybrid orbitals. There are two unhybridized 2p orbitals remaining. So here we have the excited state of carbon, and then we have sp hybridization. So that leaves us with two sp hybrid orbitals and two unhybridized 2p orbitals. Next is sp2 hybridization. sp2 hybridization involves one 2s and two 2p orbitals mixing to form three sp hybrid orbitals. There is one unhybridized 2p orbital remaining. Again, we start with the excited state of carbon, and then we have sp2 hybridization. So we have three sp hybrid orbitals, and we have one unhybridized 2p orbital remaining. And finally, sp3 hybridization. sp3 hybridization involves one 2s and three 2p orbitals mixing to form four sp hybrid orbitals. So here's the excited state of carbon, and then we have sp3 hybridization, which leaves us with four sp hybrid orbitals.